The one thing that I hear all the time is it's not a good time to buy. And what everyone is focusing on is the interest rate. I know that we both kind of agree that that's not necessarily true, yeah. but I'm sure people would love to hear some insight on that. You know, going into October, mortgage rates just hit two decade highs, right? And huh. everybody's talking about what that means for affordability. And certainly interest rates are an important part of calculating your affordability. But the reality is rates are cyclical, right? And if you look at every four years, they somewhat peak and valley. And we're just overdue for that correction. It's tough to say when it's going to occur, but history tells us that it will. What I look at is the data, right? And if I tell you, hey, when was the last time rates were firmly above six? Well, that was 2018. If I offered you a house today at a price of 2018, would you buy? In a heartbeat. Okay. Rates are above seven right now. Mm -hmm. Last time rates were above seven was 2001. Do you think it would be a good investment to buy a house in 2001 if you still had it today? Uh, yeah. Okay, so the point there is really simple. Like Rates are a moving target. Mm -hmm. You're always gonna have an opportunity to refinance and optimize that rate over time. But what you're doing is you're making an investment. Right? And buying a house or making an investment in real estate is not get rich quick, mm. it's get rich slow. All right? So take the time, understand the investment. Obviously don't overextend yourself, but just know that rate is gonna be something that you can change and optimize when the opportunity presents itself.